My name is Harry, and since the age of four, I've taken my love for fishing all over the western coast of North America. Being out on the open water with friends and family is what I live for, but it wouldn't be complete without a boat burger. A burger on a boat sounds like nothing special? Think again. Juicy patties, crackling bacon, melting cheese, and a variety of other burger essentials paired with the vast ocean waters, fresh air, and a good old-fashioned hard day's work is what makes a boat burger special. Journey with me and the rest of the crew as we travel from boat to boat, across the seas in search of great fishing, exciting adventure, and of course, the best boat burgers. ready to start our 100 mile journey to Santa Barbara to visit one of my favorite boats, the Stardust. Joining me on this adventure are seasoned fishermen, Slim Art, as well as fishing newcomer and burger aficionado, Gigo. All right, man. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Let's do this. Let's go. Stardust is a special boat for me, the one that started it all. It was the first boat I ever went fishing on with my dad, as well as my first magical experience with a boat burger. Many boats on the California coast have signature burgers, and the Stardust has what they call the Mega Mouth. But we'll get to that later. As we make our way onto the boat, we are met by a mixture of old friends and some possible new ones. Our journey to escape land, do some fishing, and eat an amazing burger begins here. Santa Barbara has some great rock fishing. For California complex fish, that is the, one of the best places. Yeah, and they get yellowtails on there. They, they got calico bass, sand bass, you know, but their rock fishing is solid and nice. Big, big ones. Big man. ones, yeah, good quality. Jason Diamond runs a really good operation there. Uh, he has the Coral Sea and the Stardust. He's been running it ever since I was a kid ever since I stepped foot on that boat, like 13, 14 years ago, maybe more. What's your philosophy on running your operation here? Really good service, catching lots of fish, and being extremely safe, and serving really good food. You taught me a lot about this stuff. You know, I mean, my dad got me into it, but you like refined. Well, yeah, because we're out here every day. I mean, we, we definitely are, are, are in key of what's going on around here. For sure. That's for sure, there is no doubt that we know what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we do this every single day, seven days a week for 10 months straight. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Most of my guys started when they were children. They were coming out fishing on here and then they started helping out and all of a sudden, here they are. They're driving the boats, they're deckhands. I mean, it, it's a really cool job. It works out well. Well, I was 19 years old when I officially started working on here. Like most kids in Santa Barbara that like to fish, started off fishing coming down, doing the half day trip. And then this boat showed up and Jason was just the best. In California, we're lucky enough to have bait receivers. They go out and catch the bait, haul it, and they have pens to hold them in. A lot of times, we can just go out and get bait in our bait tank and go out fishing. We're kind of spoiled here. You have the choice of anchovies, sardines, and market squid, all ready to go. You gotta like go through the ropes and learn cutting bait, you know, okay, you can cut squid, perfect. Cutting squid to cutting fish. As we leave the harbor and set course between Santa Cruz and Santa Rosa Island, you can already smell the sizzling bacon on the grill. Not only does John make an amazing burger, but the breakfast doesn't fall short of perfection either. As soon as we pick up our live bait on the way out of the harbor, I walk around the boat and take orders from everybody and start cooking first thing in the morning. As our customers come on, I'm also the guy that checks everybody onto the boat and gets everybody signed in on the manifest. During that process, you're assigned a wire tag number that correlates to your fish sack as well as your galley number. So when I come around and ask if you want anything to eat, I'll ask you what your number is. Go through the process of telling them what's in things, you know, you want everything in it, you want it specialized, you know, and then at the end, once the food is cooked, I'll come back out with the food and screaming numbers. 
and I, I do scream. I'm not all that quiet, I've been told. <laughs> oh, 16, four and five. You can get anything from a plate of eggs to a breakfast burrito. My favorite is the breakfast sandwich. Two eggs, cheese, bacon, all between buttery sourdough bread. What a great way to start the day as we ride through the channel. All right, so the ocean here is pretty calm, and that's because California has a nice little curve, and that curve's point is Point Conception, which is all the way right there. As soon as the boat leaves, we are no longer protected by that point, and we will be getting raw waves from all the way up north, so the boat will rock more in a couple miles. We're calling each other, and we're like, what are we gonna bring? Talk to the captain, you know, what line are we gonna use? What setup are we gonna use? Gigo comes in and he's like, hey, you know, just give me the rod, let me fish. Gigo, are you, are you rigged up? Uh, yeah, I'm using a rental. Okay, sometimes those are good. I mean, you could rent the pole, they'll tie the hook for you, they'll put the bait on for you if you have to until you start figuring out yourself on how to catch the fish until you learn. For this type of fishing, best thing to do is do a dropper loop style. Three feet, two feet of line between the sinker and then where you're gonna do the dropper loop. Everyone fishes with two loops. I fish with one. And I do one really big one. So what happens is you have your sinker here long leader for your bait. Just the way I like to do it. When we get to uh, the spot, we'll tie on our weight. It's just good etiquette for the boat and the people so your weight's not slamming across. Every year they paint this boat, cost them money. The more we take care of it, the more we can go out on it. Well, this thing was built like 50 years ago. And it's better now than it was the day it was built. What did you guys do to him? Everything. I gutted the whole boat and redid it. All the wood inside the boat is all wood preserved every year. We spray wood preserver through the entire boat. All the bilges are super clean. You just can't find a boat like this anymore. And this boat catches a lot of fish. All right, guys, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready to drop them. All right, let's do it. As excited as we were, our first drift was not as productive as we'd hoped. Oh, oh okay. blue bass, baby blue. Oh, dude. Got him? Nope. This is going to be delicious. A few nibbles, but no bites. The pressure was now on Sal to find the fish. All right, let's go ahead and line them up really quick. Line them up. Like I said, the first one is always a dry test run. This is a gamble. Lines my feet. Absolutely horrifying, but we're definitely gonna try. This bridge over here is just flooded with fish. Alright guys, we're gonna try this bridge over here. Get them down there. Alright, let's do it. Caught almost, what, 10 fish? Ready to eat a burger, that's for sure. Um, I am getting hungry. A boat burger is something special. It tastes so much better on the open water. I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the smell of raw fish coming off your hands. There's just nothing like a boat burger. We have just your basic single stardust burger, which is just a cheeseburger. Mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, pickle, lettuce, tomato, and grilled onion. Do a double burger. If you want a triple, I'll do a triple. Who created the Mega Mouth? No, me and Jason were like, we need like some like burger. We need to like have something on the menu that's just kind of stupid but cool. Something to be like to talk about. And obviously it's gotten to your guys' attention like, damn, thing's mega. The Mega Mouth, which is the double bacon cheeseburger built in between two grilled cheese sandwiches with two fried eggs on it, which is absolutely amazing. It's more of a heart attack than anything else. I think the grill has a lot to do with it. 
The black girl we have has been on this boat for like years. And when we clean the grill, we clean it like with butter and like consistently season it. Oh my God, it just, it smells so good. I drive in the wheelhouse and smell burgers every day, all day. How do you not eat so many? Like, thank God that. Do you have control? I have control, <laughs> I'm trying to think like. Combination of the boat burger itself and the environment and the fact that you're out on the water and whatnot, it just, it puts it all together. Three hours I've been craving this, but we've been fishing. <laughs> we worked for this. Unlike Slim Art and I, Gigo wasn't interested in the simple, commoner's boat fare. He had his eyes set on the king of the Stardust Grill, the Mega Mouth. Oh man, I had to do it. This is the Mega Mouth. Meat, cheese, egg, bacon, pickle, onion, tomato. I'm in heaven. While Gigo was inside battling the Mega Mouth, we were out having a battle of our own. Oh, I got him! Get him! Get back! Come on, homie! Oh, you did! You took it! The sea lions kicking our ass today. You guys don't understand, man. It's like a dream come true for me. <laughs> This is what it's all about. The fishing is my favorite part of the burger trip. Fisherman vs. Seal. Gigo vs. Mega Mouth. The battle is on. Go, 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 go. Go. I got your fish, my man. The sea lion waited all day long. Saw all these small fish getting pulled up, and when the biggest fish was caught, he goes, this is my time right now. And he grabbed that fish and this is what he does. He just sleeps until he hears the vibration of the boat coming. He's like, free meal. Yep. I don't need to swim too much. That's why I'm the king sea lion. Look at me, look how fat I am. I got all the bitches in Channel Islands. They're all mine. I'm serious. Sea lion, bro, these guys are gangsters. You guys don't know about them. They drive Cadillacs. <laughs> we got bills to pay, man. Just as we reach our 20 fish bag limit set by the Department of Fish and Game, it's time to find out who caught the jackpot. The biggest catch of the day nets you an additional cash prize, but most importantly, bragging rights. Anybody think that they have a contender for this fish? Alright, jackpot is going once, twice! Oh! The Stardust has a fish plate, yeah. you know, and we got to enjoy that when we were out there. I mean, we caught the fish like 30 minutes before, yeah. you know, and all of a sudden it was on that grill. I mean, it's as fresh as it gets. It's straight out of the ocean. It's been properly bled and filleted. And you have a, a guy that's around thousands of pounds of fish a day. He knows the prime cut. He knows what you're looking for. And all of a sudden, like, you know, everyone's having a little taste of what they caught for the day. We just literally pulled this out of the water. This was caught like an hour ago, Max. An hour ago. And now it's in our hands. Cooked by John over here. Fresh as it gets. What brings us together is, is being on that boat. And then going on that boat, you get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how this all kind of came about, is like after you build this hunger, all these individual boats, that's their little restaurant. That's their little kitchen. They are the five-star chef of that 32-foot vessel, 48-foot vessel. It all adds up to this right here. This is it. The culmination of the whole day's work. No restaurant in the world will compare with a fresh fish like this. I'd say one of the most enjoyable things about it is seeing the smiles on people's faces. Food's about making people happy. It carries a lot of emotional weight for some people. I always used to do this with my dad. It became a, a lifestyle. It's not even a hobby anymore, it's a lifestyle. On behalf of the crew, we thank you guys so much for coming out with us. We can't wait to have you guys come out with us again. Thank you, Sal! Thank you! The day is done. From sunrise to sunset, we all faced our highs and lows of the day. Not even seals or mega mouths could stand in our way of victory. Not when we're with the people we care about doing what we love most. 
The salty air invigorates both mind and body to achieve total zen, the perfect meditative state to forget your worries. Escape the rigors of daily life and fall back into primal hunter mode to provide food for your clan, enjoying the fruits of our labor both in our bellies and in our souls. These are the feelings we take back with us to re-energize for hectic days ahead. We'll catch you on the next adventure here on Boat Burgers. <laughs> <laughs>